welcome back to my video if you're new here thank you for stopping by i'm stephanie don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to like it and if you find this video useful to you or you think it may help someone else feel free to share this video and don't forget to leave a comment down below in this video i'll be doing superset workouts mainly amongst bodybuilders you will see those type of own um, workouts being performed and superset basically is 8 to 12 reps and it's two exercises performed back to back without any rest in between once you finish one workout you immediately go into the other one and mainly most people will do like with the same um, muscle groups with two different um workouts or you can um switch it up while you work one muscle and let that muscle relax and work on another muscle group that's totally fine whatever you want to do it's totally up to you i choose a few to do in here you can see what i'm talking about with those type of workouts um i think that's it um i don't want to talk too much um i don't want this video to be too long so without further ado let's get into it lion oblique crunch you want to lie on your side with one foot tucked underneath you and the other one extended straight out and when you come up for the side crunch you make sure you squeeze when your elbow and your knee meet you want to squeeze right there and then leg straight back out again and keep going for eight to twelve reps Make sure that your abs are tucked in and squeeze. And then you always want to do the same amount of side on the other side, of course, to just to even um, things out. Once you finish one exercise, immediately go into the next one. This is the crunch. And the correct way to do this is not to tilt your chin into your chest. You want to focus your eyes something on the ceiling or above you. And aim for that or either your chin over your knees. If that makes sense. In between your superset exercise, make sure to rest between 30 seconds to a minute long before you move to the next. Leg kickbacks. You want to stand tall with a straight posture and just simply put your weight on one leg while you kick the other one back and forth. Slow and steady. And for support, you can just place your hands on the back of your head just like this. As I'm demonstrating and if you need to tap the um the ground when you come back down instead of going like a complete motion that that I'm doing that's totally fine and then you want to complete the same motion on the other side to even everything out Immediately move into the next um, exercise, side lunge with in and outs. So basically what I did was just start with your left or right, side lunge. And you want your toes pointing straight forward. And when you get ready to lunge, you want to put your butt going back. And like you're sitting on a chair. The motion of sitting in a chair. Knees is not over your toes, but are in line with your toes. And then you're going to do a quick step in and out. And all the reps are between 8 to 12 reps.
Dumbbell sumo squats. Stand with your feet slightly wider than shoulder width. And then you're gonna motion to as if you're sitting down into a little chair. And squat all the way until you're comfortable. If, if you can go all the way to the floor with the dumbbells touching the floor, that's great. But if you only can go to your knees, that's fine also. We all are a work in progress. Progress looks different on everybody. And this is the side view. Spine is straight. Remember, toes are in line with your knee and vice versa knee are in line with your toes and you want to squat with your butt it's almost as if you're sitting into a low chair and go as low as you can eight to twelve reps Inner thigh lifts. Okay, you want to lie on your side, bring your top leg across over closer to your thigh, and that bottom leg, you want to lift as high as you can go, slow and control and steady, and just lift. High as you can go, then right back down. Eight to 12 reps with these also. Now let's switch sides and you want to repeat the exact same thing on the opposite side. The next, the last two exercises is a combination of superwoman push-ups and high and low planks. And basically the concept of a superwoman push-up is a basic push-up with your um, spine from your head to toe in a straight line, do a regular push-up, then come up, one arm out, reach out, and the opposite leg out back. And then for the high low, you're just going to high plank, then low planks. And then just repeat until you can't go no more. Both of these are a struggle for me, but as you can see, but practice makes perfect. And I'm not giving up. I believe I can do this. <laughs> and for the last workout, Biscuit is going to take you into a very quick yoga. 